Welcome back to 710 and look at this. We got the doors open and it's light out. It's awesome now that it, the good weather's here and the sun's starting going down around 9, 10 o'clock. So I can get out here a little bit, keep the doors open, start getting on my work. So tonight we got this thing back. This is the truck that we did the plow mount on uh, just before the winter time and it's back for transmission lines. So on this thing here, let's get up underneath. Transmission lines come out right here on the driver's side. Crossover, go all the way forward. Uh, actually, you can see them right up there, right there, kind of run forward, and then they jump up right into the rad. So I got uh, my little table here with some tools on it. I got the oil drain guy here, and we got some gloves. So without further ado, let's jump on it and see how long this is gonna take because if I can get this thing knocked out tonight, I want to get over here and start going on this chassis. So maybe we'll get a two for one. We'll see how long these uh, training lines are going to fight me. So we got the two little bolts that hold the clamps onto the motor or the bell housing and that gets us all the way up here to the front. So as you can see if you look right through here this is the uh, the bottom of the grill here or the bumper. We have one line right here you can see it kind of go like that. That's one of them. The next one comes up and goes out that way. So that second one that I showed you is this little guy. Let me see if I can get it back far enough. This little guy right here. We'll get that one in and then we have this whole assembly right here. So this comes with the little plate that you need that goes into the side of the trans and then it comes all the way down to your flex lines and then those big guys that come up here in the grill. So I just popped that out of the side of the transmission there. It's starting to drain a little bit. It's about done now. So now what we're going to do is I will end up cutting the old ones here at the front uh, just so we can pull them out a lot easier. And then once we get those out of the way, we're gonna start fishing this new one through. So I know the lighting kind of sucks under there. I'm gonna throw one of my big lights under, but it is kind of uh, tight quarters, if you will. So I know the, the shots are a little bit iffy. Anywho, you know what we're doing. That's what we gotta do. Enough chatting. see we got the lines routed all the way up to the front of the truck and I cut the two um, old lines the factory lines uh, in the rubber section so I got the back side of it out now we're working on the front so what we're gonna do is if you look up in here you have the transmission cooler right here and we have one line going in on the passenger side and we have one line over here right up there you can see my finger there on the driver's side now if you look, there is a small black plastic clip right here above my finger. And that was just slid down over this. So, I'm not sure how to get you in closer, but if you look right here, there's that little notch there in the top. And inside that notch is a very, very small snap ring. So what we're going to do is they have a tool. Um, here it is here on the new line. So you have this black clip that holds that snap ring in place and then you have this little bump right here in the line and the snap ring sits right where that yellow is to hold that thing from popping out. So they do make a small tool that you can use that'll clip down in there but what I like to do is use a pick. Uh, let me grab a pick here. So I always bring a couple different ones. Ones that'll reach around the back side if the edge is back there or right in the front. So what we're gonna do is stick our pick right here in that little notch. Oh, there it is right there. And you can feel 
the gap between the two halves. So now all you want to do is just simply pull this thing open and you can pop it over around that that line up here and just pull that clip out and that line is ready to come. So let me do this and I'll show you what the clip looks like in just a second when I get it off. All right, so like I mentioned, you can see this little clip right here. It just looks like a little mushroom. And in that small section, kind of right in my forehead there, that's where I was able to get the pick in and you just pry that thing open and then you can pop it out. So now we're gonna jump over here to the passenger side and we're gonna do the exact same thing. Again, all I'm gonna do is feel in there to feel where that thing is cut or the opening is, and then I'm gonna pry it open. Okay, so that was easy enough. Now that those two clips are out, we're gonna work on this one first since I have the new line right here. Well, all we're gonna do is grab away the pair of pliers and pull it up, we'll pop that one out, and it's cut just, uh, just underneath this straight section here. So as soon as that one's out of the way, this new black one will pop right up into place and we can drop it down. The nice thing about this GMC is that the um, lines come in the top of the cooler. So we're not gonna drain this whole cooler when we do it. We're only gonna lose the fluid that's in the line there. So that's nice. The Chevys have a up and down version. So the cooler sits on top. So as soon as you pull the line, everything comes out. So yeah, let's go ahead and pull it out. Okay, so now we have the driver's side line on in the grill or in the bumper hole. So we're gonna spin you around. And if I look up here on the passenger side, you can see that nice new line and the old line underneath. So that's the other one that comes from the tranny. Uh, and it comes up and drops into the rad. So we need to undo the lower one and put the top one in. Again, if you can kind of see where I'm working, it is not that, here's the tire right on the left there. It's not that easy to get uh, light and my hands and tools and everything up in there and also film. So yeah, you're gonna have to take my word for it. And then we have the line that was up here on the passenger side. It comes in like this and goes up. So then we're gonna go up through in here. I can't even show you, the, the camera won't even get there. But anyways, just like that, we gotta come up here and it goes up this way. So we're gonna chase it that way. Again, uh, I might try and go from the top to be able to give you guys a visual on it, but um, yeah, anyways, that's what we're doing. So let's get that part done and uh, catch you guys in a minute. All right, so that one went in real easy. That was right here in front of the front tire. All I did was turn the front tire, pull a couple clips out of the inner fender well, and you can kind of reach right through up in here and get to it. Now, there's one more left. And like I said, that goes from the passenger side of the cooler here. It comes down like this and goes up. Now being able to come up here, I took off the, uh, the shroud here just to kind of give you a better visual. But let's look, spin you around. Let's look right there. Okay, so you see that one with the, the hard 90 right there? That's the one we're going to. So that one also goes in the rad, right here in the top of the rad. So what we're gonna do is pull that little black clip there backward. We'll pull the clip just like all the rest of them. And that's this guy right here. So the bottom there is gonna go into the cooler, comes up the side of the rad, and then pokes right into the rad right there. So let's get her in. So there you have it. We were able to get the driver's side line. That's a long one that goes back to the transmission. This short one right here is the one that comes in and up over to the top side of the radiator. Come over here to the side. This bottom one right here, that goes back to the transmission. And then we had a couple clips, one right up here, one right here. And then they wrap around and they get bolted in with this bulkhead fitting. So what I did was clip them in and these plastic clips are notorious for popping open and the lines coming out. So I threw a couple zip ties around it just to make sure they stay in that thing. Then you run up here, right there. Uh, you can see the metal clip there. 
Same thing, clipped them together, threw a zip tie on it. Here, I threw another zip tie just to hold them together. And then right there, I threw another zip tie to hold them together. And up here, I threw another one to hold it to this big cross member there. So that should stop the lines from bouncing anywhere and getting damaged like that. All I have to do now is a couple clips back in this inner fender, let it down, start it up, top it up with some fluid. Not much came out, less than a quart. So uh, we'll top it up and that should be it. Anyways, really appreciate you guys getting this far in the video and uh, yeah, hopefully you'll come back for another one. We're gonna throw this video out to 52 graphics. 52 is always there for us whenever we need shirts, hats, banners, uh, keychains, anything like that, anything promotional. They do all the stuff for the car, do some wraps, all that kind of junk. So if you guys need anything graphics wise, these guys are the guys you wanna hit up. 52 graphics is where to find them. Make sure you tell Brad and the gang over there that 710 sent you. Anywho, hopefully you'll come back for another video and uh, hey, get out in your shop and do stuff.